Hello family, this is Gamers Forum back with another interesting video on Clash of Kings. So guys, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe to this channel. If you focus on tips and tricks regarding Clash of Kings, you'll get all the necessary data and details over each and every event over this channel. So guys, in today's video, we're going to talk about KVK guys. Yes guys, we know that the new kingdom uh, or we can say the kingdom conquest rules or KVK rules have been interchanged and both the rewards as well as the participant of the different kingdoms are being increased on guys yes guys uh, per, um, basically guys where in the previous kvk as i have already made a video on this one that previously there are only two kingdom that is going to participate in the kvk week but now it is three different opponents means there may be a lot of opportunities for you to claim out the maximum number of points over here and apart from this guys there are a lot of ben uh, benefit as well as drawback also the drawback is that um, there are a lot of decrement in the rewards in various ways because if we talk about the chest that is you are going to get over for the reward one uh, it is going to give you some of the blueprints okay uh, equipment evolution stone reforging stone sam see okay legend and hundred some of the scorecard these are the particular reward that you are going to get the basic thing that is being decreased out here is that you are going to get no gold over here guys okay so keep that in mind the gold is being removed from the rewards from the kvk conquest day apart from this everything is uh, uh, somewhat useful like blueprints and all these reforging stones are something which is very much useful and the evolution stones is also useful but uh, in, uh, removing the gold from the rewards is really 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 hurting for everyone guys so that's all about that particular one now let's move to the video topic in today's video i am going to tell you the basic six different things that you can do to achieve the maximum number of points in the kvk day guys uh let me tell you that if you are a non-spender or a spender it's up to you but this after watching this video i can ensure you that you will definitely going to unlock all the nine chests for sure from your basis just try to use all the things that is being mentioned in the video in uh, if you are able to claim everything that as mentioned then you will definitely going to score the maximum number of points from the morning to the day end guys so let's begin the video without wasting your time let's start with the one guys first number point is always use the scorecard guys yes guys if you don't know what is the scorecard is all about then you can go and visit out the war section there are three different types of scorecards basically Apart from this, there are multiple more types like 50% scorecard. Then uh, after synthesizing four of the 50%, you can get 100%. And after synthesizing four of 100%, you can get 200%. And after synthesizing four of 200%, you can get 400% scorecard also, guys. So it's up to you which one you are going to use. Let me tell about myself. I always use 200% scorecard whenever I'm going on battle in the kvk week uh or the kvk day apart from this in any other days i'm only using 100 percent scorecard only guys for the kvk only i'm using 200 percent scorecard because it will maximize the point that i'm going to get from here so this is the point number one that always use the scorecard for sure from your side guys Point number two, always try to join each and every rally the time they are being activated from your kingdom or your alliance side, guys. Keep that in mind. Whenever there is a rally, try to join it. Whether you are going to win it or lose it, that doesn't matter on. Keep activating the 200% or 100% card and join the rally for sure. You, there may be possibility that you will definitely going to get kills from it. Whether you are going to lose, that is not the big thing. The thing is that troops can be recalled easily on monday you know that particular one so this is not about the uh, troops it is about the point that you can gain from that particular rally so never miss any rally from the alliance side as well as your whatever you can see out at any side guys uh, always try to join the rallies for sure the third point is the reinforcement kill size yes guys there might be allies there might be lot of things that is being going on and many times your ally is being prepared to take uh, rallies means defending rallies at that particular time don't miss out the 
uh, the scorecard as well as the reinforcement. Try to reinforce with the defensive mode. Keep that in mind. Whenever you are sending out a reinforcement to the rally, always send the red dragon and the defensive array for sure with your march. Keep that in mind, guys, and try to send out the maximum or the strongest hero that you are having on okay up to and if we talk about the formation for the reinforcement try to use the formation up to the uh, what we can say up to the attributes of your ally that want reinforcement from your side keep that in mind uh, basically infantry and archers works the best for the reinforcement from my side from my experience so it's up to you that which one you are going to send on guys okay so this is about the reinforcement this is the third point as i have mentioned all the three first one is the using the scorecard second one is joining all the rallies and third one join all the reinforcement rallies okay keep that in mind now let's come to the fourth one the conquest crystal wine guys yes guys this is the very easiest and very useful one guys uh, the main the center there are three different a uh, small associated console uh, conquest crystal these are for just for gaining some of the point but i'm not talking about this one always try to attack the conquest crystal line don't attack your kingdom troops guys keep that in mind always try to attack those uh, conquest crystal mines that is having opponent's troops for sure guys because these skills can be counted in your kill, uh, particular enemy kills and this skills are going to give you huge number of points if you are using scorecard with this particular hit guys keep that in mind this is very much useful if you are very 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 careful during kvk you are not that much active during wars then you can use the teleports for hitting out these uh, conquest mines and try to maintain for 2.8 g points for sure to unlocking all the chests for sure guys so this is the fourth different one that you need to keep in mind before going to the kvk day or the conquest battle day guys now let's come to the, the fifth point that is the uh, palace guys yes guys palace wars is already and always very much interesting guys keep that in mind if you are placing your troops in the catapult you know that it will definitely going to give you some of the conquest points and it will definitely going to open out some of the chests for you guys but for that particular one you need a reinforcement rally means if you're a rally initiator you can go with your allies and try to fill out the uh, catapult and try to increase out the maximum points apart from this there are a lot of wars during palace you can hit out rallies uh, towards the palace towards the catapult and gain out easy point because the battle for the palace as well as catapult is quite easy as compared to the normal castle rallies so that's why i must recommend you to participate all the palace wars as well as the catapult war for sure for getting easy and maximum point from your side guys so this is the fifth one and now let's come to the sixth one that is very much useful because i have got a comment in uh my instagram uh, one person asked me that how how can we exchange points during the kvk day so for that particular one if you are a point exchanger at that particular point please listen to this particular uh mention point carefully for exchanging point you need one of the castle from the opponent kingdom okay try to convince one of the uh, uh opponent and after that there are two different rules that you need to follow on first one never cheat okay for that particular one uh, one thing that you can do is try to go with a, a simultaneous action like one hit from your side one hit from opponent's side like this you can get easy kills on both the attacking as well as on the defensive system and that will definitely not going to cheat not cheating is not going to happen at this particular point guys if the opponent is being agreed to this one then only go over there if he's saying that please go uh, give me if there is someone trustable then you can go with that particular one guy also but if you don't trust him then don't go with this per one 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 by one don't go uh, trust this particular one guys after that guys what is the thing that you can do you need three million of t10 troops okay three million t10 whether it is infantry cavalry siege or archer it's up to you all is going to give you the same points you need 3 million troops 3 millions means 30 lakh you can say is called as 3 million 
सो थ्री मिलियंस टू थ्री टेन विद द एक्टिवेशन ऑफ टू हंड्रेड परसेंट बोनस कार्ड गाइड कीप दैट इन माइंड गाइज यू नीड टू एक्टिवेट टू हंड्रेड परसेंट ऑफ द बोनस कार्ड और यू कैन से पॉइंट कार्ड एक्टिवेट टू हंड्रेड परसेंट ऑफ द पॉइंट कार्ड एक्सचेंज थ्री मिलियन किल्स ऑफ द टी टेन सोल्जर्स फ्रॉम द ओपोनेंट एंड डेफिनेटली यू आर गोइंग टू अनलॉक टू पॉइंट एट जी पॉइंट फॉर श्योर गाइज ट्राई इट इट विल डेफिनेटली गोइंग टू वर्क and please whenever you are going to exchange out points keep this particular point to the opponent also maybe he is not going to activate 200 percent card and you need to give more of the kills to them so keep that in mind before exchanging points please make sure that opponent is also using 200 percent bonus cards as same as yours and you both from the both side 3 million troops of the t10 is being exchanged guys so these are the six different points that you need to um you must follow uh, to gain out the maximum number of points during the kvk day uh, let me give you a quick recap first one is the always use points card second one is the joining alliance rallies third one is the reinforcement kills fourth one is the conquest crystal mine fifth one is the palace wars and sixth one is the exchanging point that is for someone which is very much lazy to participate in the battles guys so that's all over today's video guys i hope that you guys really like the video content if you find the video information useful please hit the like and subscribe button for sure if you have any other queries regarding this video or any other video you can comment in the comment section thanks for watching and keep growing with gamers forum thank you guys